is Henry Hynoski, and this is the Big Blue View. Hello, Giants fans, and welcome to the first ever broadcast of the Big Blue View. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us, and thanks for all the support that we get over at BigBlueView.com. Today, we'd like to talk a little bit about the Giants running game. The Giants running game was a bit lacking, to say the least, in the 2011 regular season. Whether that is on the backs themselves, or whether that is a part of the offensive lines problem, whether it's a combination, whatever the case is, we know that there has to be a change made. And the question is, do we have the personnel to change that? Brandon Jacobs, we know, I mean, you got to love the guy when he's running at full force. It's hard to stop him. It's hard to bring him down. The guy is a beast. He's been a great asset to this team in previous years. The last couple of years, though, he hasn't really lived up to the expectations of the front office and fans as well. Ahmad Bradshaw, scrappy little guy. He can get in the holes. He can find holes when there's holes to be found. Is he the back of the future? Is Brandon Jacobs the back of the future? We don't know that yet. We know that each one of them are great when they're able to run great. The offensive line, we know it's had problems this year, and that's a separate issue. We're not really going to address that in total today. We'll leave that for another time. Question is, we know that Brandon Jacobs was not happy last year. We, we, we know that, throwing helmets into the stands. We know that he wanted a raise, and he wasn't sure he was coming back, and he wound up taking a pay cut. We know that Ahmad Bradshaw, you know, he's, he's set. He's staying where he is for now. We have backups in Darrell Scott and some others. We have the draft coming up, and we have the free agency. Brandon Jacobs definitely wants to come back. He's expressed his interest, but will he be back? Will Jerry Reese in the front office extend his contract, offer him more money, make him happy in order for him to stay? We know two, three seasons prior, collectively, Jacobs and Bradshaw ran for over 2,000 yards. That's the kind of thing you want when you have a dangerous tandem like Jacobs and Bradshaw. But another guy that we have in the wings is Henry Hynoski. Henry Hynoski is a great new addition to the team. He hasn't been used as much as he could be used, of course. He doesn't have the starting job. Will he be an effective piece of the puzzle in the 2012 season? That remains to be seen. However, nice little treat. I spent some time with Henry Hynoski recently, and we have that interview. Roll tape. Okay, Sean Kerr here with BigBlueView.com, SB Nation. We're here with Super Bowl champion Henry Hynoski. Henry, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good how are to you? see you. Great. Uh, explain to us a little bit about this, the whole Super Bowl experience, storming the field as Super Bowl champions, as Super Bowl 46. When that ball hit the ground, it was just the biggest relief. You know, that final pass Brady threw. I was just so happy. I didn't know what to do. I just ran on the field, started screaming, and uh, ran over the area where my parents were sitting and just and just started celebrating. And um, then Mark Herzog basically came over and uh, tackled me. So uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a fun experience. It really was. That's awesome. Um, was there ever a moment that you thought that Tom Brady and the New England Patriots might have the game wrapped up with that late fourth quarter drive? Did you have any nerves going on? No, I mean, just because of the way we played all season long in the fourth quarter, we knew we could step it up when it's crunch time when things got tough, and uh, I had all the confidence in the world that we were going to win that game from right to the start, right to the end. That's great. Now, explain the feeling of the ticker tape parade. I mean, the Canyon of Heroes, I mean, it. It's, a, it's an overwhelming experience just being there watching it, but as somebody who's being celebrated, what was that like? I heard a lot about it beforehand, but you can never expect that. I mean, it was truly unbelievable, just the support we have from the fans, millions of people on the streets flipping out, going nuts, and that's just something you dream about, and it came true. Awesome. And if we got the draft coming up, so who would you like to say, is there any one particular player or any position that you think the Giants would benefit from more most? Um, that's not up to me. That's uh, you know, it's up to uh, to the front office. I know we have a lot of talented guys on our team that, that uh, will be returning, but we can always look for some some young extra help to mm -hmm. uh, to come on in and, and uh, make a contribution. So we're excited for whoever they decide to bring in. Do you have a personal favorite? Uh, no, I mean I actually really haven't paid much attention to the to the uh, you know combines or anything like that. Yeah, I know the combines coming up, but haven't really paid much attention. I was uh, just really focused on you know the Giants and just winning games this year. And what does the offseason have in store for you? 
uh, I'm going to start training again tomorrow. Actually, is my uh, my first day back training, and uh, I'm going to do that right up until OTAs, and uh, continue through OTAs and minicamp, and then right up to training camp. So it's uh, going to be a regimented structure. And there you have it, Henry Hanoski joining us right here on the Big Blue View. I'd like to thank Henry for the interview, sharing his thoughts and experiences with Super Bowl 46 and the ticket tape parade and the Canyon of Heroes. What a monumental season it's been! What an incredible celebration, both at the ticket tape parade and at MetLife Stadium. I was lucky enough to attend both. I can tell you the feeling was existential. Let's go with that. That about wraps it up for our first edition of the Big Blue View. I'm Sean Kerr. This is the Big Blue View. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, go Giants. See you next time.